I want us to come back to Nairobi. And if you're in Nairobi, if you've visited Nairobi in the past few days, then you are aware about the expressway. Well, driving on the expressway will be quite an experience for many drivers. With the toll system at play, how does one get to pay to use it? How efficient is the toll system? Well, KTN's Noakip Kimboi breaks down the experience as well as the attendant cost you will pay to use the yet-to-be-launched multi-billion shilling road. The Nairobi Expressway is a game-changer in the capital city's transport system. It's a few minutes past 4 p.m. We are at James Gishuru Road. We are going to use the Nairobi Expressway and one of the system of collecting the toll is the electronic toll collection method. This one entails having an OBU, that is an onboard unit. And right now, I'm just going to show you how that particular unit looks like. So we'll go inside this particular car, which we are using. We'll go in and I'm going to show you what an OBU looks like. The onboard unit. This particular device that you can see here attached on the windscreen and with this device it is automatically detected at every tolling station well and once you drive through when you have this OBU on board it is detected and you are able to be billed electronically the electronic toll collection is also known as the ETC. The service allows toll points to be electronically deducted through the pre-installed onboard unit device, offering a non-stop road service. For an individual to be registered on the ETC system, one has to provide an original and copy of his or her ID or passport and a copy of the vehicle's logbook. The other mode of payment is cash. Cash users are not obliged to register prior to their trip on the Nairobi Expressway. Remember, M-Pesa is not an option yet. Finally, the manual toll collection card, known as the MTC card. It is loaded with toll points used to pay toll fees. To be registered under the MTC, an individual only needs an original copy of the ID or passport. We are cruising on the Nairobi Expressway at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. And we are leaving James Gishuru all the way to Mlolongo. It is said that that will only take you 15 minutes. Is it true? Let's put it to test. With the road clear and well paved, within minutes we have Nairobi behind us taking us around 17 minutes to arrive at Mlolongo, the other end of the expressway. According to the Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure, the minimum charge will be 120 shillings and a maximum of 1,800 shillings. In case of a breakdown amidst a journey on the expressway, the Nairobi Expressway Service Centers are monitoring all activities on the road and are on standby to help. An internal department that is responsible for the breakdown or accidents so the road administration and corridor management so in case of any accident or any breakdown so we inform them through our call center then they are able to get to the point or to the station where the accident or breakdown has happened well using the nairobi expressway has been quite relaxing the limited time that we take in regards to traveling long distances and also, it is quite efficient. Now, keep going, boy, KTN News on the Nairobi Expressway. Thank you, Noah, for that. Now, days after a primary school teacher was shot dead by armed bandits who attacked.